E3 time, baby. Ubisoft kicked off this year's E3 strong with some new announcements along with some updates to our favorite games. We got some epic stuff from them and I personally can't wait for a few of these titles, along with what we saw talking about behind the scenes. Greetings gamers and welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Connor Monroe and this is our review of the highlights of the Ubisoft E3 2021 press conference. Let's do it. Ubisoft came out swinging with an epic trailer for For Honor Year 5 Season 2, Mirage which showcased the new story along with some interesting characters that appeared to just be being of light, or at least one of them was. I haven't played For Honor, but this season looks incredible with new armor variations, testing grounds, and an all new battle pass containing some insane loot, I'm sure. Are you looking forward to For Honor Mirage? What about the new hero available July 22nd? Or is there something else you're more excited for? Let me know down below. And after some lengthy walking simulator action, we got to pull back the curtain and look at some accessibility in gaming. This honestly wasn't something I was expecting, but I was pleased with. Accessibility in gaming is honestly something I I hadn't really thought about, but it's good to see Ubisoft putting in efforts to make games available for everyone to play, whether it's with directional captions or additional HUD options. It's nice to see the future of accessibility coming to gaming, when it's an issue I didn't really think about before, but I'll definitely keep in mind now. Not only that, but we also got a new announcement for our Brawlhalla collab, a game that I know even my cousin plays, so I'm sure plenty of you do as well. Brawlhalla x the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is set to release on June 16th and seems to have some decent hype behind it. This 2D Smash Bro style game is going to be an interesting place to see our heroes in a half shell, but I look forward to seeing all the clips of insanity these characters bring. Then came the main event. After another hour of waiting, which I also did not expect and can't say I'm entirely pleased by, Ubisoft came out swinging with the announcement of a new standalone game, Rainbow Six Extraction, set to release September 16th. In the game, you will play as the operators you know and love, but fighting against a mutant alien threat. You will work in co-op teams of three to make your way through a Left 4 Dead style campaign with safe rooms known as airlocks, where you can heal and restore gear, which is important because if you die you lose the ability to play as that operator until the company you're working for, React, I'm sure the fine rolls will love that, launch a rescue mission to recover the operator before they're playable again. You'll also lose any items you had on them phasmophobia style. The game seems to be 3 player co-op, but I'm not sure if you'll have the ability to play with 4 team members including yourself, which would be a good idea since the game will be cross platform with exclusive unlockables for players coming from Rainbow Six Siege, but I'm pretty sure it's just three player. Speaking of Siege, the game also will be getting an update that includes a new defender operator called the Thunderbird. Ubisoft also unveiled a new game mode for a game called Trackmania, set to be a Fall Guys like game with cars, basically if Wipeout was done with Hot Wheels. This game is currently free to play on the Epic Games Store, so be sure you're grabbing it now if you're excited for this interesting concept. And for all you Watch Underscore Dog fans out there, we've got to see a trailer for the new Watch Dogs Legion DLC Bloodline, which features the return of not only Aiden Pierce, but Wrench as well, who was until now only featured as a story character in Watch Dogs 2. Included in the game's premium season pass, the story expansion will drop on July 6th, which is a Tuesday, so prepare to call in sick on Wednesday if you're a player, and prepare to reschedule some things for Wednesday if you're an employer. I promise I'll be here to work though, mostly because I don't, I don't have Legion, but if I did, I would probably call in as well. Not a game I was expecting to be featured, but Just Dance 2022 got a feature as well during the Ubisoft panel, featuring Todrick Hall, a YouTuber, singer, songwriter, actor, director, rapper, and choreographer. Jesus, this man's resume is longer than my CVS receipt. Whose song Nails, Hair, Hips, Heels will get a Just Danceified version in the 2022 edition? Probably cleaning it up. <laughs> they also mentioned a contest to be a part of the music video if you're so inclined, you can check that out on Ubisoft's website. The game will also feature Believer by Imagine Dragons and Level Up by Ciara. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is also getting a new update adding some one handed swords, as well as the free expansions for The Siege of Paris and Discovery Tour Vikings Age, for those who are interested in exploring the world or reliving The Siege of Paris, which sounds weird when you put it like that, but I'm pretty sure that's how she put it during the panel but whatever, maybe it's just me. The Far Cry 6 Seasons Pass was also announced. The chilling Meet the Villain trailer saw Anton Castello teach you a lesson about dictatorship when he hijacks a fishing boat with stowaways on board to get his son, who had run away. His son, Diego, tried to get his father to let the others go, but in a haunting moment, the screen goes black and we hear screams and gunshots as the men execute the remaining passengers. The Seasons Pass also includes the ability to play as the Far Cry villain
villains of old, as you embrace the Far Cry legacy since for the first time in Far Cry history, you are the villain. Get up close and personal as you take control of the legends themselves, Vast Montenegro, Pagan Min and Joseph Seed, all played by the original cast. Delve into these iconic villains twisted minds, uncover their backstories, battle their inner demons and reunite with familiar faces. All of this in a new Far Cry gameplay experience in which you will have to die and retry. Can you escape the mind of a villain? As well as the inclusion of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, which Sean, one of our editors, seemed to be really excited about. They also announced Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope, to which all I can really say is Please stop. Does anyone actually like these games? Do people enjoy the rabbits? Like, they're just wannabe minions, right? Like, they tried it, it didn't work, but, but they keep going with it. Are, are there any rabbits fans who watch this channel? Please let me know how you feel about the rabbits, because... Eh, I'm not a fan. And finally, the panel wrapped with the announcement of a new game, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Made using Ubisoft's Snowdrop engine, the game appears to be a new first-person action-adventure game developed by Massive Entertainment in collaboration with Lightstorm Entertainment and Disney. Built using the latest iteration of the Snowdrop engine and developed exclusively for the new generation of consoles and PC, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora brings to life the alluring world of Pandora with all of its beauty and danger in an immersive, open Open world experience. In this new standalone story, play as a Navi and embark on a journey across the western frontier, a never before seen part of Pandora. Explore a living and reactive world inhabited by unique creatures and new characters, and push back the formidable RDA forces that threaten it. Which I hope gets some form of VR port or update, because honestly, if any game is going to make sense in virtual reality, it's this one. I'm actually excited for this game, and will be even more excited if it's in VR or we get a VR update of some sort. Please, please. There we have it friends, the highlights from the Ubisoft E3 2021 press conference. Thank you all so much for watching. What are you excited for in the rest of E3? And um, let me know down below. I'm excited for Xbox and Bethesda. If we don't get Elder Scrolls 6, I'm going to be upset, but I know it's highly unlikely. I just want to play Elder Scrolls and, have, and get to stop playing Skyrim. People make fun of me for it. Thank you all so much for watching. I have been and shall remain Connor Monroe, and I'll see you in another video. I almost fell over trying to bow. Jesus. Unveiled, as well as. No, it wasn't unveiled. Um. And after some lengthy walking simulator action, we got pulled. No. Captions or addition. No. Whether it's with additional captions or additional HUD option. No, no, it's directional captions. This 2D Smash Bros. style game is going to be an instrument. No. Ubisoft also unveiled a new game, game oh. whose song nails, hair, hips, heels will get a just dance of fun. Uh, fun. <sighs> Anton Castillo, Ca Castillo or Cas Castillo? Yeah, I think that's it. Experience in which you have to. Oh. All of this in a new Far Cry gameplay experience in which you will have. No, I, I was saying that right. Why did I stop? <laughs> in this new standalone story, play as a Navi and embrace. And bark.